All right, we're going to take a look at 17. All right, 17, we're writing a polynomial function of least degree uh, with integral coefficients okay, with the given zeros. All right, it looks like we're going to have three zeros in this case. Keep in mind, one minus three i is also solution. Our complex answer is always coming in pairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out my factors. We have x. We have x minus 1 plus 3i. We have x minus 1 minus 3i. At this stage, we just uh, would want to FOIL, distribute everything out. We're going to wind up with x squared minus x minus 3i. When I distribute a negative 1, I'm going to get a negative x positive one and negative or positive, sorry, three i, get rid of that. When I distribute a negative or positive three i, I'm going to get uh, negative three i x, um, negative three i, negative nine i squared. All right, I'm looking right now. I missed a factor. So we distribute the x, x squared minus x minus 3i. Oh, minus 3i x. There we go. That was where I missed it. All right, then we just want to simplify. We wind up with an x squared minus 2x. 3i's cancel, 3i x's cancel. And then we're left with plus 9 in this case. And then we still have the x out front. So my remaining function would be x cubed minus 2x squared plus 9x. It said integral coefficients. Uh, keep in mind, if it did say we wanted the coefficient to be, say, like a 3, all right, all we'd have to do is multiply everything by 3. So we have 3x cubed minus 6x squared plus 27x is how we get our function of least degree with a leading coefficient of 3. Okay. Otherwise, it's just that same problem set up on factors, distribute, and simplify. Um, 